if BT could move, I'd probably say him. I've seen a few highlights, so he's a grumpy old bugger. Oh, this is easy. Brian Taylor uh, often refers to himself as an outstanding Western Australian junior basketball. Given his struggles to walk, uh, I'd suggest that Brian, and given the fact that he blows up, I'd say BT. Luke Darcy, he's got this big zen thing about him, but he's just a, a ball of rage waiting to go off. No, he's getting on a bit, but BT he used to be a very good basketballer, and I'd imagine he'd fire up in the basketball court. Luke Darcy's the most likely person to get sin bin when playing local basketball. He spends a lot of time meditating or anchoring on the breath, as he calls it, but uh, I think it's really a cover-up for a very angry man inside. Brian Taylor, I'd imagine. Short fuse. Oh, there's only one person on our team that's going to be sin pinned for an uppercut, and that's Ross Lyon. Any man that is prepared to king hit his best mate from behind on the football training field is capable of being sin bin in a basketball game. Luke Darcy. Without any doubt, Big Brian gets very grumpy on and off the basketball court. He takes someone out for sure. Damo just got that red line or black line or white line fever. And no, it'd be BT, of course. He's very fiery, the bristle man who's had some Botox over summer, I reckon. <laughs> That's Ross Lyon. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Brian Taylor, way too competitive and he's past it. He's old and he should never do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs>